Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show with your host Ram today. And uh, well, we are looking at the first 2020 clash which happened between India and Australia today. And India's woes uh, continued as far as uh, uh, defeats are concerned. Uh, today they lost the T20 match uh, by, I mean it was a very good display by Australia uh, with uh, Matthew Wade the opener being promoted in the batting order. Normally he plays in the middle order for his uh, county side but today uh, there was a surprise uh, sprung in uh, as Matthew Wade was uh, promoted in the batting order and he opened with uh, David Warner as uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni uh, won the toss and actually inserted Australia in and Warner and uh, Matthew Wade uh, were the ones who opened the batting for Australia and Matthew Wade was simply bet taking. In fact, uh, it was a very good innings from Matthew Wade. He bided his time initially. He was not so aggressive. Uh, he was just, uh, you know, waiting there with uh, David Warner uh, first, you know, uh, going on in attacking fashion. Uh, 25 of just uh, 14 deliveries, 1 4 uh, and 2 6s. Uh, and then Travis Burt was along with him, uh, who made 17 of 21 balls with 1 4 and 1 6. But after that, uh, the, the next 14 balls, uh, the, the last 14 balls that uh, Matthew Wade uh, uh, played, uh, he just waded into the strokes and he slammed all the ballers across all parts of the ground and what was good about it was uh, his hits were uh, very clean hits and uh, both all the hits were like, uh, he was strong on both the offside and the onside. He slammed sixes over the offside, he slammed sixes over the onside and um, he went on in his uh, merry way, uh, Matthew Wade and as far as um, Australia were concerned they put up a very good total, a winning total of 171 for 4 on the board uh, and uh, George Bailey, we got an, uh, got an opportunity to watch uh, George Bailey come in and bat uh, making his debut as captain uh, of Australian uh, cricket uh, since uh, say Gregory uh, who played for Australia probably uh, it, it was in the 80s, probably we were not even born there uh, at that time. It was 1877 uh, when uh, Gregory, Jack Gregory actually uh, made his debut for Australia as a captain. Uh, now, as far as uh, the knock was concerned, as I said, George uh, Bailey, uh, as I said, he made his debut. Uh, but what was very, very good to see was uh, Matthew Wade, uh, promoted in the batting order and just carving the attack. Uh, he made 72 uh, of just 43 deliveries, three sixes in that knock and he was simply superb. Also Hussey contributed uh, in a very very good manner. Hussey also uh, made a good score uh, and uh, well uh, they just uh, went on uh, in their own way and uh, they really really played some percentage strokes there, 171 uh, and uh, the this feature uh, other than Matthew Wade uh, there was India's uh, Rahul Sharma, the uh, right arm leg spinner uh, coming in and balling but uh, well he got a very big hit from I mean a very very a hard hit ball from uh, uh, Travis Burt uh, who as, an, as you know is a big hitter of the ball and he actually slammed the ball straight to Rahul Sharma. Rahul Sharma not only dropped the catch and also injured himself as the webbing uh, was split in his finger and he was bleeding and then uh, well uh, uh, Rahul Sharma uh, he bowled 3.33 uh, 3, 3 overs, I suppose, and uh, 27 runs were given. So 171 Australia made as far as India were concerned. Well, uh, India, uh, again, uh, they didn't, there was only barring Mahindra Singh Dhoni, uh, who made uh, 43 odd runs, and he was not out at the end along with Ashwin. India finished at 131. Uh, the the batting really didn't, really didn't come to the fore, I would say, because uh, Virendra Sehwag, was consumed by a beautiful Bretley outswinger and he was gone, uh, ca caught by Hussey uh, uh, very, very cheaply. Uh, Virat Kohli uh, briefly entertained uh, with some, I mean, started off very aggressively by slamming a six and that was a beautiful six which uh, Virat Kohli hit. I'm sure Bretley would have been taken by surprise as uh, Virat Kohli just went uh, full Monty there and um, hit uh, Bretley for a six. Uh, he contributed uh, in some measure, I would say. and. Uh, uh, there was not there was not other support coming. Gautam Gambhir uh, was a v early victim, and uh, Rohit Sharma failed. He got a first ball duck um, uh, on his uh, first match there. Uh, Suresh Raina came in and played some very good strokes as he is known for. But again, uh, the the asking rate was uh, too high for India, probably reaching eight or nine runs per over, 
and Suresh Raina had to sacrifice his wicket. Uh, the other good thing about um, uh, what we're seeing was the Bailey's captaincy here. Uh, what Bailey did is uh, he was constantly talking to his players, which was good to see. He was ringing in the bowling changes. In fact, uh, he brought Xavier Doherty in the second over itself, uh, who bowled well. And uh, you know, uh, the the turning point, uh, as one uh, one would have understood, was the spinners. And spinners are one that India definitely uh, have done well. But it was a real surprise to see the Indian batsmen giving away the wickets to the spinners. But also uh, some tight balling from David Hussey, who picked up the wicket of Rohit Sharma. And, and he was on the money, I would say. And also Brad Hogg, the 40-year-old uh, Brad Hogg coming in and playing international cricket after making his comeback into the Australian team uh, would have been very, very heartened by the effort. Uh, in fact, uh, he also got a wicket and he bowled uh, s uh, superbly, I would say. As you know, he did well in the big bash and that's the precise reason he got the nod there. And he would have been very happy uh, because Hussey and uh, Brad Hogg were the ones who really turned the tide for Australia by... Uh, really uh, keeping the Indian batsmen quiet, which uh, induced them uh, to make mistakes. Uh, and uh, well, uh, the result for, was there for everyone to see. I'm not going into the uh, bowling figures today, unfortunately. I'm just, you know, uh, just talking about the game and just uh, seeing how the game really panned out. Uh, something different uh, today. In fact, I'm not going to talk to you any anything about the facts and figures. I'm just going to be uh, just talking about uh, cricket. So, India... I have lost the first T20 match and the second T20 match is on Friday. Uh, uh, good bowling. Uh, we saw Faulkner uh, into the picture. Uh, he was good uh, when it was 12 runs to get. Uh, in fact, uh, Bailey actually introduced Faulkner. Uh, in fact, he came and bowled 1 over for 9 runs, uh, but uh, later on he came in and bowled. And a left armor is always very difficult to hit, as you know. Uh, Brettley also came in and bowled uh, the final stages. And well, I think uh, Dhoni played one good shot, uh, which showed his uh, real brute force as he slammed one of the ballers, um, you know, high, wide, and handsome over the fence for a six. Um, Ashwin gave him some good company, but again, uh, it was uh, there was nothing left in the match. They couldn't really force the pace there. The balling was absolutely on dot. Uh, it was not giving any uh, any uh, any liberties, I would say, uh, and. Um, uh, the other thing, uh, Bailey, as I said, constantly co talking to his players. Uh, I thought uh, the captaincy skills was very much in measure and, and how happy uh, George Bailey would be on his debut, winning the first match as the captain, uh, making his debut for Australia. And what a great feeling for him it would be, winning the T20 match. And his captaincy skills were definitely there. There was no doubt about it. A lot of chatting with the players. Uh, and also ringing in the changes, uh, you know, very quick changes. Uh, he immediately, uh, he, he sensed something and immediately brought the ballers and every baller uh, actually responded in equal measure to what uh, Bailey's uh, attacking instincts were, uh, which was good to see. Uh, so that was good to see uh, Bailey coming up with his uh, captaincy skills uh, and uh, his captaincy has to be really, really appreciated. Uh, rung in the changes at the right times and knocked off the wickets. And uh, it was, uh, I would say, it was a good match. Um, India, again, struggling. Uh, have, have been struggling on this Australian tour, for sure. And we are not to see whether what they do in the next uh, T20 match. Uh, uh, it was a bit surprised. There was no Zahir, Zahir Khan today uh, into the DAC. Vinay Kumar was also hit for runs. Pravin Kumar uh, played after a long time. But Pravin Kumar also looking listless. Uh, Matthew Wade also hit him for a six. And Pravin Kumar uh, probably just getting on. A lot of players who are now just getting their first knock uh, in international cricket after quite a long time. In the sense, uh, they have been out. They have not been. Uh, they have just come into Australia to play the uh, the T20s and One Dayers. Uh, so probably one can uh, trot that as an excuse, but not really. But uh, we have to. And as you know, this unit from Australia uh, was something uh, which was not uh, the uh, strengthened unit. It was a new look team. Uh, probably Australia building up for the. Uh, world T20 in September and I thought they had all the ingredients uh, to be a successful unit. Well, on this note, uh, dear fans, friends and subscribers, I conclude my cricket show for today. Uh, sorry, I couldn't give you any facts and figures. I just kept talking about cricket. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this cricket show. I know it might have not been so impressive, uh, but you know, as you know, I just do it as a duty for me uh, to come and actually uh, make this uh, cricket happening sh uh, show uh, every day. Uh, thanks for your company and thanks for your support. Your host Ram signing off, say, telling you that I'll be seeing you tomorrow with my next cricket happening show. 
that's it from me your host ram see you all tomorrow thank you